Hey everyone, so this is going to be a video on like my top 10 drugstore or chemist or pharmacy kind of products and um, my friend Simone Gannon from um, Simone Loves Makeup here on YouTube did a video doing this recently and um, I really enjoy her videos and I really enjoyed this so I thought it would be a good one to do and I think I have seen a few other people like Julia from Mischievous and stuff like that doing it. So um, I find it really hard to just pick out 10 products so a couple of them are grouped and I do have five honourable mentions um, at the end as well because I just love my drugstore stuff or my pharmacy stuff so I'll go ahead and jump into it but I will link to uh, Simone's video below if you want to check hers out. She's in the Middle East at the moment so um, she does have most of the products that we get but if you check out her channel they get a lot of stuff before we do so sometimes it's nice to get a bit of um, uh, a glimpse into stuff before it's out if you do watch her, her videos um, and we have a very similar taste in um, makeup so you'll see probably see that in our videos as well but anyhow I'll start off and the first product I'm going to go and talk about is this one this is a video I, I did a video on this really recently and it's the um, Max Factor Ages Ageless Elixir 2 in 1 Foundation and Serum. This is like my current foundation obsession. I really, really love this. Um, I won't go into it too much because, like I said, I did do a video on it, so I'll link to that below. But it's just one of those really bang on foundations. It's lovely, it gives a really lovely glow without being um, greasy. Really, really good coverage. It's a kind of like a full coverage foundation, and um, it's only 20 euros, which is very very fair you know as in, as in it'll only cost about half the price of other high-end foundations that are the exact same quality say so that's my first product I adore this now I know Max Factor isn't available in America anymore so I will apologize for any of the um, products that maybe aren't available there that I have here but it's what I have in my pharmacy here then the second product um, another face product or face products would be other foundations and these are the bourgeois foundations the healthy mix ones so this is the original healthy mix one and um, this has been my favorite favorite for years it's also one of my most repurchased foundations and um, I did a video on that just there the last day and this is a really long lasting really good for combination skin beautiful color Um, I'm number 51 in this and I really really adore it and so I recently brought out this um, bourgeois healthy mix serum foundation so it's just uh, like a slightly more dewy kind of version of this but it is quite similar but it's a beautiful again um, finish it wouldn't be quite as much coverage as maybe the max factor one but it's just a really beautiful foundation and it's one that I use on brides and you know bridal makeups and in my kit a lot as well and um, I think these will cost around maybe 16 euro in, brand, in boots um, and the shade range obviously isn't the biggest in the world because it is pharmacy but it's still a beautiful foundation so that's the second product products <laughs> then another phase product would be um, I love Vichy and you're probably sick of me going on about it but if I had to pick out my top Vichy products that I use the most it would definitely be the sunblock ones these guys here it's the Capital Soleil so I have the 30 and the 50 again these were in my most um, repurchased products video but um, they're just brilliant because it's really good it's specifically for combination oily skin which is something I hadn't really come across up until really this year and I found a few more since but these are brilliant so they keep me matte um, while keeping you know my skin protected against the sun and stuff like that and work as really good makeup bases and you know they don't break down or affect the makeup or anything like that so I really really love them and um, I really love the feel of the formula so that's number three and Vichy is available in all pharmacies here so um, I'm not really sure like I said about other countries but um, we're lucky I suppose we have them here. Uh, another face product and another Vichy product is the Derma Blend Concealer so this is like my holy grail concealer um, it's an amazing product it covers everything you no know, matter what kind of spot or blemish or whatever kind of emergency emergency I have this is the guy I go to um, to cover up any kind of face problems it's brilliant for tattoo coverage I do use it in my kit for like um, tattoo coverage and you know if anyone has like scars or anything like that they need covered as well it's just brilliant and it is waterproof if used with the powder and um, that comes along with it as well so that's this little guy here and um, they come in a decent, really decent shade range as well. So I really, really adore that. That's number four. Okay, number five, another face product, surprise, surprise. And it's the um, Collection 2000 uh, Lasting Perfection Concealer. 
Now, um, like Simone, what Simone said in her video, uh, you're probably sick of me harping on about this, but it's an amazing concealer for only six euro. Um, I go back to this more than any of my other concealers, and um, I've bought it more than my any of my other under eye concealers as well. I'm number two. Um, number one would be for maybe people fairer than me, and it does come in a couple of shades above that as well. And Collection Two Thousand is one of those cheap and cheery yeah. makeup brands here um, in the UK and Ireland, so um, it's really affordable and it's just a fantastic product. So really recommend that. So that's number five. Number six would be definitely this Maybelline um, Lasting Drama Eye Gel. Again I think Simone showed this in hers but it's just a brilliant um, eye gel, um, you know black gel liner. It's just as good as any of the Bobbi Brown or the MAC ones or any or the English one even. Um, but it's a lot less expensive than those other guys and you know the packaging is just like the Bobbi Brown one. It did come with its own little brush. God knows where it is now. Um, I don't think I have it here to show you but it's a really decent brush that it comes with. And it lasts all day on your eye line um, as well as it being really black. Like it goes on really really opaque so it's a fantastic product. Um, and yeah, couldn't um, recommend that more. Then six, seven would be Bourjois products again and it's their eyeshadows. So I was just going to show the one but there are some really great eyeshadows here. So this is the one again I showed in my most recent, um, I hope this isn't too repetitive actually, but uh, in my last video the repurchased one. This is the um, Ombre à Papier number 8, my favourite highlight. It's just a beautiful um, eyeshadow. And then, I think they're about 10 euros each in, in boots anyhow. Then they also have these intense um, eyeshadow pots. And these are brilliant. They just go on really, really dark. So I love this, or really intense rather. I love this black one. This is just um, number 10 black. Um, and it's really, really black. So if, I, if you want like a nice drugstore black um, eyeshadow, I'd go for that. And then... I also have this gorgeous green one which is number five and this like um, kind of peacocky dark teal green um, and that's number six. So they're fantastic as well and I really like the bourgeois, um, I really like the bourgeois uh, powders in general. Um, like they have loose pigments or they used to anyhow that I used to love as well. So that's number six. Number seven. No, that was number seven, wasn't it? So number eight would be Max Factor uh, mascaras. I adore my Max Factor mascaras. They're definitely my favourite um, Holy Grail mascaras. I have a few favourites. So the one I'm wearing today, which would be just like, um, it's a nice kind of lengthening mascara, but it's one that I use kind of on a daily basis or something that's not going to be too... Um, crazy or too out there. And it's their Lash Extension Effect mascara. So... Um, really really nice it's got one of those like thin wands um so it's really good for lengthening so um with mascaras it's always small thin ones will give you more length and the fatter ones will give you more volume then one of my favorite mascaras ever is again max factor here and it's the false lash effect this is like the opposite kind of wand this is a really big fat thick wand with really really small tiny um bristles so it'll give you a really fat eye effect or fat lash effect and then these ones that I go back to again again, the Masterpiece Max and the Masterpiece Mascaras. So these are just really nice basic um, mascara. I just love the definition I get with them and I get really nice volume and everything from them as well. So definitely my favourite drugstore mascara. Um, it's not a makeup product, it's more like tools I suppose. And it would be the Tweezerman product. So I get these from Boots. I have a couple of the uh, Tweezerman tweezers. Um, brilliant and these do a lifetime guarantee so you can send them back and they'll uh, sharpen everything for free so that's why I absolutely adore them so that's those guys they're brilliant tweezers I also have the tweezerman um, hair scissors so I use this because I always trim my own like fringe or bangs or whatever you want to call it and um, again you get your free sharpening and it's just a really really lovely scissors so that again I got from Boots and then my favorite um, Eyelash curlers, which I use pretty much every day, even if I don't use makeup, again are the Tweezerman ones, and um, brilliant curlers. Like I've had the same pad in since I bought them, and I've had these for months and months and months for most of this year, and the pad is still going strong. So, um, you know, you get such a long use out of them because it can be a pain in the bum when you run out of those pads and you can't get um, replacements. So that's number nine, and then number ten would be makeup brushes. 
this is not going to surprise anyone but it's the real technique makeup brushes so these are available like i said in boots we have um i think the core collection and the beginners collection or the beginner starter kit or whatever and then a few of the other loose ones so um the stippling brush and this blush brush and these contour brush uh, this contour brush would be three of my favorites but there are loads more that I've shown a million times in other uh, videos that I really really love but they're fantastic brushes and they're very very affordable here in boots as well now for the honorable mentions because of course I couldn't just leave it at those would be number one these um, Maybelline, another Maybelline product. So it's the Maybelline Color Tattoos. The reason these are honorable mentions and they didn't get into the top 10 is, be um, is because I haven't had them long enough. I only got them after seeing Simone's video and um, I have this purple one which is the Endless Purple number 15 on today um, and I also have the Permanent Taupe. So I have been wearing these since I got them and they last brilliant on the eye but like I said I really haven't had them long enough to um, give a real seasoned kind of review on them or like uh, have a proper opinion on them or whatever but um, I'm uh, first impressions I'm really impressed so that's why they've gotten into the honourable mentions. I have this Maybelline um, Fresh Dream Fresh BB Cream. So it's definitely not a blemish balm, it's more of a beauty balm. It's basically like a fancy tinted moisturiser but it's really nice and the reason I like it is um, it has an SPF of 50, it really does kind of give a lovely glow to the skin um, and it is quite hydrating on the skin which I like and it doesn't make me go um, greasy or anything like that. The um, for me, or the colour itself, it is light that I have. Now it only comes in three colours but um, I got light. It didn't look like it was pale enough for me really when I um, looked at the colour without putting it on the skin but once it's blended in it's absolutely perfect on. Um, if you're a bit paler than me it might be a little bit too dark um, so obviously it having only three d shades is a downfall but um, it's lovely and I'm lucky that I can get away with it so really really love this. Then I have another bourgeois product, so this is the third honorable, honorable mention. This is the Healthy Balance a Unifying Powder. I really love this powder. Um, the reason it didn't get into the top 10 is because the lightest colour that they have in the Boots and Galway is number 52, um, Vanilla. Now I'm number 51 in the foundation, so this is like just ever so slightly too dark for me. It's not like ridiculously dark, but it will kind of... Um, Put a little bit too much colour sometimes over my foundation. That's the only reason I'm giving it um, a knockback. Besides that, the formula is beautiful. It's I got it because it was so similar to the Studio um, the Mac um, Mineralized Skin Finish, except for that it's maybe not as um, kind of wouldn't have the kind of same subtle shimmer that that does. Um, but it just wears beautifully and it's really fine and all that kind of stuff. So I really love that. Number four is another powder and another Vichy product. It's the Derma Blend Setting Powder. Um, the reason I love this is because on top of the foundation or the concealer that it comes with, it makes it totally waterproof and budge proof and it lasts all day. But besides that, it's just a really lovely, very fine milled powder that I use over all my foundations. I have it on over my MAC Match Master foundation today. And um, it, you know, it's one color suits all. So it's a really lovely foundation. You get a whack load of product for about 18 euro it's not that expensive so i really love that and then the final honorable mention is this revlon just bitten um lip stain and lip balm i got this recently and i used it in my vintage bride makeup tutorial so you can see it in action there it's a lovely color but um what i love about it is the fact that it comes with a balm on the other side so lip stains are notoriously drying on the lips that's why they last so long but obviously it is drying so the fact that it comes with the lip stain is brilliant and um i really love the color as well so that's my video um i hope you enjoyed this and that's me for now so i'll chat to you all really soon so long guys